Hi, I'm Lily Rose Depp, and I'm going to show you what's in my bag. I think my bag says about me that I'm always prepared. I have a pen, you know, if I need to write stuff down. And also, I heard once that you should always carry a pen in your bag because you can always use it as a weapon if you need to. So my Chanel Poco Crush ring, they gave it to me uh, when I shot my first campaign for them. And it was always my, like, good luck charm ring. And then I lost it recently at Cannes, but luckily they gave me a new one for my birthday. My fingers are really, like, flexible. I have my headphones. My rose gold ones, they match my phone. I have gum, because my ears get really, like, blocked up on the, pl on the plane and stuff, so I have that with me. I can crack my toe uh, muscle, too. I have a little travel number five. It's the classic one, so I always carry this one with me when I travel. <laughs> and then I have my makeup bag, which just has, like, powder, blush, little, like, lipstick and mascara. Like if I have like two minutes to get ready, I'll put like eyebrow stuff on um, and like mascara and like some blush and like lip balm. Come out pretty good. <laughs> this is my dog. <laughs> she's kind of like a little piggy because she's like a bulldog. So she's kind of snorts and gets all muddy and stuff all the time. But you know, you gotta love her. <laughs> if I could fit one human being in my bag, it'd be my brother because he never wants to go anywhere with me, so that I could just make him go everywhere with me in my bag. <laughs> I've got this that was on my shoes, my <laughs> Charles Barkley's. Oh, no. Oh. I have my wallet, which um, has a bunch of receipts in it, so it's kind of, like, full. It looks kind of sloppy. I've actually had this in my bags for, like, years. That's why it's all, like torn up and stuff on the corners. It's got like a mirror in it and little like face blotting papers. And then the last thing I have in my bag is this little uh, like toy that I had when I was a baby. And my mom like gave it to me like a couple years or something. And I just always carry it in my bag as like a little like, like good luck charm. <laughs> I heard it's actually really rude to have your pinky up when you like drink tea in England. Is that true? <laughs> like a back bag. Mine is like a bag, but it's a backpack. Mm, be up to or Bardo, I don't know. Mm, hair down. Trousers. <laughs> it's so English. Trousers. <laughs> I neither. I don't use either, but I guess iPad. Dogs. Um no makeup. Or the toilet. Shit. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lily Rose Deb. If you want to see more in the bag videos, don't forget to subscribe to British Vogue. So I'm really excited because today I'm going to talk to Lucia about my new characters. Bonjour, Lily. Sorry, I'm confused. These characters are the character de Chanel? No, they're just my characters. Okay. Is this like charades? So, in my role of the spy, I can't carry much. Spies are still chic, though. You should be able to carry at least one product. Maybe if it helps me blend in. Okay, cool. Why don't you try this one? This color is really light, because you know you can use it on your lips and cheeks. Don't put too much on, Lily. I always do. Not the usual. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put a little bit on your cheeks as well. Lip blush. Does it make your lips blush? <laughs> no, it like goes on your lips and as a blusher. Now what do I do? Now I'm a writer. I'm preparing for my first bestseller. You're going to need something quite illuminating if you want to come up with a bright idea. Obviously. <laughs> this illuminator from the Palette Essentielle Beauté gives you a little bit of healthy, sun-kissed glow. Applying this lip blush will help you get into one of your characters. All the details are important. I'll have to write this one in. You're going to need some paper, won't you? Oh, yeah. I always hand write everything. I'm playing an American in Paris. That's perfect for you. That's the ultimate double personality. Mais je suis aussi une Américaine à Paris. Une Parisienne. Attends, c'est pas trois personnages? I didn't get any of that. I don't speak French. 
So for your American side, apply the lip blush on the high part of the cheekbones. Ta -ta -ta -ta. And then if you can put a little concealer around, and to be more Parisian, you can just apply some on the lips. You add a little bit of the cheek contrast. Now you're really blushing. Four o'clock. A watch is here to tell us the time and to beautify the wrist. One of my first memories was trying on my mom's Chanel pumps when I was one and a half or two. <laughs> Six o'clock. Being in the countryside at my grandparents' house when I was a baby, and they had these huge Labradors that were always just towering over me. I think my life really changed the day my little brother was born. Two fifty-five probably swim in fresh, clear water. I have a few moments that are very near and dear to me that I revisit often in my head that I would like to relive, but I always keep them for myself. Sunset, with people that I like spending time with. Maybe waiting for water to boil. <laughs> it's all about seconds. Et euh, voilà, c'est toutes ces émotions qu'on traverse à ce moment-là quand on a tant euh, envie d'être une femme et de, de ressentir toutes ces émotions euh, qui sont un peu réservées aux adultes. Quoi. Quand on est petite, on a, on a qu'envie de grandir. Et donc, euh... <musique> and I'm five, five. <laughs> I wanted to be just like my mom, so I always wanted to be a singer, even though I hate singing. So that was that, and then afterwards I wanted to be a model, and an actress, and uh, like a dancer, and a spy. So dreams do come true. <laughs> if I weren't an actress, I would probably want to be a chef, or a makeup artist, or a psychologist. Ramen ta fraise. My favorite French phrase is probably uh, ramène ta fraise. <laughs> ramène ta fraise means like get over here. Je pense que ma phrase américaine préférée c'est spill the tea. I would say the best thing about being a teenager is that you have so much. Hi, I'm Lily Rose Duff, and we're getting ready for the Chanel Métier d'Art show in New York. Excited to see the whole Chanel family and all the looks, and uh, it's always it's always a great time when we all can get together again. When it comes to a red carpet, powder is obviously really important, but kind of strategically, or for the skin to still remain looking like skin. I always do my own mm -hmm. lipstick. It's always been <laughs> it's always been my thing. I think because I always grew up watching my mom do her own lipstick, and. Um, I don't know, I feel like everybody has that one thing that only they feel like they can do right, you know, a certain feature that they feel like only they know the correct shape, and for me that's always been my lips. A little darker pencil on the, the outer to really uh, pop that pout out. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna start crying, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm so excited to go to the show. <laughs> like, 